Hey, it's me, Tommy Smokes. And as most of you guys know, I'm spineless. I just want to be liked by people. I'll say whatever it takes for the public to like me. I try not to have very controversial opinions. I just like to play it safe. But today, I'm changing all that. I'm gonna ruffle some feathers. I'm sitting here in Washington Square Park with some controversial opinions that my coworkers at the Barstool office wrote for me. I don't know what they say. I don't know if they're gonna get me canceled, if they're gonna get me beat up, but I'm gonna be sitting here holding these signs, debating people who walk by and trying to prove that I can debate anyone on anything and I'm not afraid to be controversial. One thing about the smoke, if you want it, you can get it. My biggest flaw is that I just have a desperate need to be liked. I, I just want people to like me, the outside public, my friends, my family, my coworkers, and I need to work on that. I need to say things that people will not like me for. So. Before I hit the streets in New York City and start arguing with people, I gotta get some training. I'm gonna start in-house. I'm gonna talk to some of my coworkers here at the New York office. I'm gonna have debates, arguments with them that I know will rile them up, get some practice, get some reps in, then hit the streets. All women should be required by law mm -hmm. to show their breasts to a man whenever they ask. What's the line of thinking behind this? Who's, Boobs are who's great. got this movement going? I just think it'd be a good law. If we give you boobs, what do we get? Let me see your dick right now. No, you don't get anything. Nobody I mean, it's gets. fun for you guys. You have to show us your boobs. All right, because that's fun, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to probably hold court with my girls and see how we feel about that, but I'm going to go ahead and say okay. no fucking way. So, no boobs now. No, okay, definitely. Cool. Certainly I didn't not. Hear certainly not. I don't think anybody in the world should be able to marry their coworker. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I definitely disagree with that. When you find love, you should be able to marry that person no matter who, what, when, where, I think. Even the gays? I, yes, yes. Is that but, okay but, with you? But, um, no. Probably still gonna do it. Did you ask him? Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that gay people should be allowed to play professional sports. In the locker room, they're gonna see penises and they're gonna say, oh, I gotta suck. I gotta suck. What if the guy was tucked? What does that mean? You take it and you push it back. It's like a mangina. Or if they had long hair. So you're they... saying gay people should be allowed to play sports if they tuck their penis? No, I'm saying- They shouldn't be allowed at all. Would you receive a blowjob from a man after a sporting game if that man resembled a woman? And you were able to like shut off in your head that it was a guy? Yes. I think personally, we should bring back segregation but oh. for the hairs and the not haired. I think if you don't have hair, oh. you should have to use a separate bathroom. Why would you think bald people want to use fucking bathrooms with people with hair, especially guys like you? I've used a urinal after you and it looks like a fucking German Shepherd was there beforehand. So think fucking very closely about what you're saying because you're maybe six months away from being part of this problem. You know what I mean? Well, then we get our own bathroom. You and I. Now that I'm starting to see the positives of it, you just turned me around. I would love my own fucking bathroom. Right, me and you, we get our own fucking bathroom. chaps. The Barbie movie was a masterpiece. Totally. A masterpiece. Of, because of the men. Will Farrell's character was outstanding. Mm. Greta Gerwig's husband probably wrote all the funny parts. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you didn't think like Margaret Robbie was funny. You didn't think like- I thought Margaret Robbie was hot in it. I thought she did a really good job being hot in it. But like, how about when she like talked? I wasn't, I would say I was totally listening for all that, but I thought she looked hot. How about it. like, um, you didn't think like Kate McKinnon, like she was like quirky and funky and weird. Girls are not supposed to be quirky and funky and weird. Totally, totally. H how about trans? Being in shape, going to the gym and eating healthy is a little bit gay. Yeah. All right, so I think that went pretty well. Um, I feel like I kind of got my argumentative and debative skills in, hopefully made my coworkers dislike me a little bit more. But now it's time to hit the streets of uh, New York City. I'm going to be debating points, but I'm gonna have other people in the Barcelona office write the points that I have to debate because I feel like I'd be too in my comfort zone arguing my own typical points. I wanna argue things that I don't necessarily believe, but I know is gonna get a reaction from people and, and put me in an uncomfortable position and just step out of my comfort zone. Enough being safe, Tommy. We're gonna hit these streets in New York City and hopefully not get like assaulted depending on what everybody else in the office decides to write for me on these signs.
All right, first up, pretty nervous. I don't know what any of these are gonna say. We're gonna get the canceled or crushed. Prove me wrong, cocaine should be legal. All right, I could work with this. I feel like this could attract some people in the park. Anyone want to debate me on this? Okay. Yeah. So you like Nice coke? offer though. Prove me wrong, legalize cocaine. You want to talk about it? Think we should legalize cocaine? I want to prove you wrong. Yeah? Yeah. With weed, people use it as a way, as a way to like kind of calm themselves down. But there are some drugs that like way intense, even affects body store, you have like like skin that's like all ripped apart. And, you but know, it's a lot, but doing coke could be fun also. Doing coke could be fun? Mm, I don't know. I think we I can and should weaponize. Why should we? Just for safety. For safety, but yeah. isn't that dangerous for the children? Well, just safety for, for who? For the, like, who for, we're talking? for the children. Prove me wrong. Body positivity is wrong. All right. This one, I feel some tension could arise. We don't want to promote all types of bodies, you know. Like we shouldn't be promoting like the fats. Fat people. You think skinny people are better than fat people? Yeah. Should women be able to go to war? If it's needed to be, yes. But what if they're what if they're just gonna make it worse? But if there's men around, no. Don't you think trains are kind of better than planes in a way that they're just more efficient? They're completely inefficient in every way. Planes, I agree. No, trains. It's just like, you know, body positivity, I think, sends out an unhealthy message that get fat and we'll celebrate you. Or it's like, no, take care of your body. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. People are like, oh, let's give, you know, teachers weapons in schools, but it's like, teachers can be bad. Kids are pretty much good. Well, but isn't it the, the majority of the school shooters are children? I'd rather give a kid a gun than a, a bad adult. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and it's just like making sure that everybody's good and then there's always like people around so that's like kind of comfortable. Let's take, for example, the high-speed rail in California. I believe that initially it was supposed to cost about, I don't know, a couple tens of billions of dollars. Right. Most 15 years ago. So far, they've laid no track. They're never going to build it. It's not because they don't have any money. It's because it's not possible, because nobody wants it. Nobody wants a train from anywhere to anywhere, because you can fly from San Fran to LA in no time. Counterpoint. Go on. 9-11. See that tower up, you, up there? You just won. The train never took down the train. all the flights, I changed my mind. Okay. You're a good debater. So some say I'm a master debater. So you think we should give all children, school children weapons? I think, yeah, like you check in on your first day, you get a binder, a pencil, and then AK-47. Who, who's paying for these weapons? Because that's expensive. Is a taxpayer paying for these weapons? Yeah. yeah so you yeah, agree yeah. with me that body positivity is wrong? I don't know if I agree with you. You mostly agree with me. <laughs> America is a good country, but it's being abused by these one percent. They're sending all the money to wars and weapons. Wars that women should not be fighting in. No.
The woman support a man, it's to remember. A woman came from a human, uh, the man ribcage. Right. To begin with. So the woman is your other half. So, but what if like women are just weaker? Maybe physically, but that doesn't mean mentally. Well, sometimes, man. If they're on their periods, they're mentally uh, weaker. No. Emotionally weaker. Physically, yes, but doesn't mean mentally. I don't think uh, maybe women should be able to go to war. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she probably has. I, I do agree with that. Um, do you agree with that? Cool. Once you get to middle school, you don't get a gun anymore. Wait, oh, oh, wait, so... The younger, <laughs> I think it's more effective if they're younger. It's more effective if they're younger. Yeah. Trains or planes? Correct. Trains or planes? What do you prefer? You know something? It doesn't make no difference. I tell you why. Accident could happen up in the air or on the train. Yep. The main point is we just got to stop these fat people. Stop the fat people? We just got to stop them in their tracks. No, we let the fat people do what they want because that has nothing to directly do with I us, guess. right? But if we could stop them, I mean, we could no. save lives. I never want to control anybody or stop them. Right. That means somebody's going to stop you from doing this. It's true. Unless I get fat. <laughs> One thing that nobody can debate me on is that rent death is the best way to pay rent. Look, paying rent can be a hassle. Oh, trips to the ATM, writing checks, where do I send it, blah, blah, blah. It can be difficult, but with rent death, Paying rent has never been easier and more straightforward. And RentApp is completely free to use. There's no weekly limits, there's no fees, nothing like that. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta download RentApp in the app store and then get your landlord. They don't have to like, you know, sign up, bring the account and everything. It's very simple for them. And with RentApp, you pay your rent, it goes directly into your landlord's bank account. No jumping through hoops, no, oh, where do I send it, sir? Where do I send it? Just right through RentApp, straightforward, fast, easy to use, and RentApp is helping you build a better financial future because optionally, if you choose to, they will report your on-time rent payments to the three major credit bureaus, then they'll be like, oh, this guy pays rent, he's the best. So here's what you gotta do. Go to the App Store, download RentApp, and I got a little deal for you too, just because I'm feeling generous, because I'm feeling generous. Go to rent.app slash barstool, you'll get $50 cash back on your next rent payment. Rent.app slash barstool. And if you're a landlord watching this, go to rent.app slash landlord, get set up for the easiest way to get your rent paid. Thank you to rent.app, it's the best way to pay rent, and nobody can prove me wrong on that. Good. What's more effective at stopping a school shooter? A police officer or a seven-year-old with a handgun? I think maybe a seven-year-old with a handgun. Really? We haven't would you it. Would you put your life on that? Like, there's, there, you can only choose one person to defend you. You're, you're just like, you're bound to a desk or something. And there's a, right. there's a child with a handgun or a trained police officer with a handgun. Who are you choosing? I think I'm choosing the child. Really? The, the shooter really? would be more taken off guard by the child with a handgun. What do you, oh, That's we got sure. some people on your side, maybe? You're French, yeah. so you want to weaponize the kids? What's weaponize? What is Guns. 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Belgium. We are from Belgium. We don't weaponize the children. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we do that here. This is my girlfriend, my future wife for sure. Ooh, and big news. Yeah, future Engaged wife for or? sure. No, 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 just, I just you know You want to do it now for the video? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know she's going to be my future wife. And when we started going out, there was this guy in the elevator who was like, look at this beautiful couple, black and white. Everybody rejoice them, praise them together. I'm like, okay. But this, is, this it shouldn't be like uh, needing to like say it out loud. Right. It should Don't be just. Don't even see color. Just, I didn't realize be, you were black until he just said it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Jewish people. Take them or leave them, sir. The Jews. Like them? Don't like them? Uh, like them. Like them? Like them.
I got married when I was 15 years old. I have 27 children. Oh my God. Yes. Pull out game week. So you're not into the into gays? No way. No, yeah. You gay? No. Are you? No way. You guys like Jewish people? Or? I love Jewish people. Right. I love you and I love everybody. I love everybody too. Right. Have a great day. You like Jewish people? I just don't love what's inside. Young lady! Ladies, leave those dirty pigeons alone! Hello! Young lady! Ladies, leave those dirty pigeons alone! Hello! Over here! Alright, well, had a gauntlet of people come yeah. through. Step up to the table. I don't really think anybody was able to prove me wrong about anything. So, I guess. I tried to ruffle some feathers. I don't know what else I could do, but I stepped out of my comfort zone today. I think I became a better debater, and unfortunately, it uh, seems like people still love me. So I don't know what to do about that. I guess everyone just go up to me forever.